Hello guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to change the oil on a BMW X3, the 3.0 engine. And it will be the same procedure for most BMW X3 with this engine. And what we are going to need is an oil filter if you are using from C8, 8081. This one is a 2005 X3. And Mobile One 5W30, it's recommended that you use 540 in summertime and 530 winter time. But we are going to use 530 this time. And you're going to need 6.6 .6 quarts or 6.2 liters for the oil change. The first thing that you need to do is open the oil cap on the top because when you remove the oil plug, it's not going to create vacuum, make vacuum and the oil will freely come out of there. Okay, now you need to go under the vehicle and right there with 17 millimeter socket, that's where the oil plug is. Right there, so you need to take it off completely off and do not do that when you when your engine is hot or your oil is too hot because it might burn you. Be careful. Hot oil can really burn you. And as you can see how black this one is. It has 10,000, 11,000 miles almost on it. It's synthetic oil. So we just let it drain until it's completely out of there. Okay, we're ready to put the oil plug back on. The oil is out of there. And don't forget to tighten it. Do not leave it for later. Go ahead and do it now. Because if you forget to tighten the oil plug, you might lose it and run out of oil and the engine is done so just to avoid future problems tighten it now don't leave it for later again with the 17 millimeter socket okay okay guys next we need to replace the oil filter always always replace it every oil change right here is the cap i think it's with 36 millimeter socket but we do not have one right now. You can use big pliers, but careful not to crack the plastic. We recommend using the right tool. Get that 36 millimeter socket, so you can remove the plastic cap easy. And just unscrew the whole thing. And the oil filter is located underneath it. When you buy a new oil filter, it always comes with a new seal, so replace the seals as well, because otherwise they're really hard to take off because the old seals they tend to get stuck and now you can just unscrew it by hand and lift it up get something like a bucket or a pen not to make a mess okay that's the oil filter housing right there and now we're going to replace the oil filter Okay, now with a flathead screwdriver, you remove the big seal from the cap like that. And this is the new one that came. So we're just going to install it, make sure that you go in that big groove right there. Just stretch it out, put it on the oil filter cap housing. Okay, like that. And always apply oil to it, to the new one, because this way you'll be able to to get it on easy and it won't get stuck in the future. And this is the oil filter made by from CH8081 as you can see. And now it doesn't wear, it doesn't matter which way you put it on. It's exactly the same both ways and you push it in until it clicks. And now you just go ahead and install it on the oil filter housing. Make sure you get it tight, but not to the point that it's going to be, you're, you're not going to be able to take it off next time. So when it stops going by hand again, use the socket or the pliers in our case. Okay, we recommend using the, the right socket because with the pliers it takes a long time and you're going to scratch up a little bit the, the cap like that here. But that's how it is and now we need to get the oil and just add 6.6 .6 quarts or 6.2 liters to the engine and do not start the vehicle without oil in it. 
lever because you're going to ruin the engine. And again, 5W30, they recommend it for winter time and 5W40 for summer time in the BMWs. Again, if you live north, you can go all the way around with 5W30 all year long. If you're on the south side, somewhere warm, you probably need 540. And one jack is 5 cords, so now we need to add another 1.6 cord from another jack. Okay, remove the funnel and now put the old cap on. Do not forget to put the old cap on because otherwise you spray oil when you start the engine. And if you run long enough, you might even lose oil. And next thing that we need to do, we need to come on the side and pull the dipstick to get, to get a measurement before we start the vehicle. It might be a little bit more because the oil filler is empty right now. So just pull and wipe it and we're going to put it in again and pull it out so we can check if we have enough oil before we start. Okay, as you can see it's above the maximum. So now we need to go inside the vehicle and start it and let it run for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we need to let it stay for about a minute. And it did. So, a minute or two, the oil goes down. Put the dipstick, wipe it again. And now this will be the accurate reading because the oil filter is full now. And that's the amount of oil that you have in your oil pan. And it's, okay, right here, it's between the, probably about two thirds full right now. So if you want to top it up, you can probably add another 0.3.4 quarts. But do not overfill it because you can cause damage to the catalytic converter if you have too much oil. Always make sure it's between the minimum and the maximum. We also have a video on our channel how to reset the computer that reminds you for the oil change on the inside so you can check it out on our channel how to do that thank you guys for watching us if you have any questions let us know don't forget to subscribe to our channel for about five new videos and give us a like